And now onto the dinosaur of the day, Alxosaurus, which was a request from Dinosaur4602 via YouTube, so thanks. It was a Therizinosauroid Alxosaurid theropod that lived in the early Cretaceous in what is now Inner Mongolia, and it's one of the earliest known dinosaurs in the superfamily Therizinosauroidea. The name means Alxa Desert Lizard, and it's named after the Alxa Desert of Inner Mongolia, which is also known as the Alashan Desert. It was found on a joint Canadian-Chinese expedition in 1988 and described and named by Dale Russell and Dong Jiming in 1994. The type species, and only species, is Alxosaurus elicitiensis, and the species name is for Elicitai, a village in the region near where Alxosaurus was discovered. Five specimens were found. They found a lower jaw, some teeth, limb bones, ribs, vertebrae, and tail vertebrae. And together, they all form a nearly complete skeleton, minus the skull. Alxosaurus shows a transition period between general theropods and more advanced therizinosaurids. Before Alxosaurus, scientists thought that therizinosaurs were related to sauropods. Alxosaurus looks similar to other therizinosaurs, but also similar to other types of theropods, which shows that therizinosaurs were weird theropods. <laughs> and we've talked about that before. But one example of this is the semilunic carpal bone of the wrist, which allows wrists to be more flexible, which is also found in Manoraptorans, such as Ovoraptorosaurs, Dromaeosaurs, and Troodontids. Alxosaurus had a long neck, short tail, and long hand claws, like later Therizinosauroids. It was bipedal, it had no teeth, but it had a mouth that would have acted like a beak, and because of this, it's unclear if it was an herbivore, though most likely it was. It had an agile, lightweight build, though, like a carnivore, but it had a large gut, which may have helped it digest plants. And it had large claws that would have helped it to reach tall branches for leaves. If it did eat meat, it would have had to scavenge. But overall, it kind of shows that herbivores can evolve from carnivores. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of an unusual thing. Although I guess all dinosaurs basically evolved from carnivores. So it makes sense. Still weird to think about. Yeah. <laughs> The largest known Alxosaurus was over 12 feet or 3.8 meters long, and Gregory Paul actually estimated it to be 13 feet or 4 meters long and weigh 880 pounds or 400 kilograms. Other Therizinosaurs had feathers like Bepiosaurus, so Alxosaurus may have also had feathers. 